What's up, Lil? Yeah. Air the Living Dead Talking Head. Coming to you live with Daigo Glorified Games. How we doing, Daigo? Hey, Ed, how's it going? Oh, pretty good, my man. Pretty good. Yeah. Anyway, what's going on? Ed, cast your mind back. You might remember. Oh, it must be over a year now. We're... We had a series of videos covering Super Mario 3D All-Stars, but converted into VR. So that was Mario 64 in first-person VR, Mario Sunshine first-person VR, and Mario Galaxy first-person VR, all thanks to Dolphin VR. Now, beyond Mario Kart, I didn't think there was any way at all to play any other Mario game in first-person VR. It just wasn't something I thought possible. But oh boy, was I wrong. <laughs> oh, preach, man, preach. Yeah, so you might remember... Citra VR was this amazing application which converted the Citra emulator for 3DS into virtual reality. Well, recent updates to the Meta OS has broken compatibility with Citra VR uh, for quite some time now. And due to the drama between Nintendo and its lawsuit with Yuzu slash Citra, understandably modders were kind of holding off on working on Citra VR again. Well, Recently, and link in the description if you guys want to download it yourselves, a new APK has been developed by Citra Viewer's creator, Fewer Wrong. So go ahead and download that, get that onto your device. It works with version 69 of Quest OS. As of yet, I don't believe it works with Pico, but I believe it may in the future. But this is where it stands right now. We have a working Citra Viewer. Oh, cool, man. So we got the mole Nintendo. Games up in the VR on a standalone device, no PC required, isn't that right? That's right, Ed, no PC required, and you do have the ability to play these games in full 60 OF VR. Only creature comfort that you may miss is motion controls. Now you can still use motion controls mapped as a keypad, but there's no there's no gyro or there's no gestures, there's nothing like that. It's just basically the keys are mapped to the 3DS key. So now, okay, we've got a working Citra VR again. Woohoo! What can we do with it? Well, as luck would have it, on the same day, believe it or not, the same day that this new version of Citra VR dropped, a first person modification for Super Mario 3D Land also dropped on the same day. Like, this is Providence, I don't know. This is something else. So, credit where it's due, the mod was developed with flat screen in mind by Kaibu. And yes, it is, it's in its initial stage. It goes back into third person when you are facing bosses and at various times throughout the stages you may notice that the camera reverts to its third person and then goes back into first person. That's to be expected with an initial release you guys, but there it is. And as you can see Mario's player model apart from his hands are invisible. Fantastic! Now getting a modification to work with Citra VR is no easy task as it does not support mods as of yet. So what we had to do is modify the .3ds file. We had to modify the game file itself. And again, credit where it is due, full credit for that, port of the mod goes to Jack 445566778. Absolute legend, we got this up and running within a matter of hours. Fantastic. And if you guys want to play this yourselves, yeah, very, very simple. Thanks again to Jack 445566778 for making it so simple. Okay, so go to the link in the description, download that file, open it up. Now, unfortunately, I cannot provide you with game ROMs. That's piracy. As much as I would love to, I cannot just provide a link for it. Nintendo was on to me before about that with Mario Galaxy, so unfortunately, I cannot provide a link. But if you Google it, yeah, I'm pretty sure you, you guys are proficient enough with Google to, to find a ROM if you really needed it. But you didn't hear it from me. <laughs> so, okay. When you get your ROM, wherever you got it from, whether you legally dumped it or whatever, I, I don't want to know, I don't want to know. Put that ROM file into that folder you just downloaded. It has to be in the same directory, okay? Now, this is very important. You have to rename it. The reason being, there are so many versions of Super Mario 3D Land out there, like, be it different region, different revision, whatever, but in order to have it compatible with the mod, you need to change the name. So change the name to Super Mario 3D Land. Okay, exactly as it's written, all words with an initial capital letter. Very important. Okay, once that's done, go ahead and run the batch file. Okay, let it do its thing. Alright, 
Once that has run its course, you should have a new .3ds file. Super Mario 3D Land First Person mod. You should see that there, okay? Go ahead and take that and drop it into the decryptor folder. Open that up. Okay, now go ahead and run that batch file. Okay, and once that's done, you'll have a brand new decrypted.3ds file. Now this is important as that's what you need for Citra Vior to read the game. It won't read the other game. Okay, now next step. Go ahead and hook up your, your quest 2, quest 3, quest 3s, quest whatever the hell it is you have. Picos, you can do that down the line. I'm not sure if it'll work now, but go ahead and connect that up to your PC. Run side quest. Drop that brand spanking new Citra for your APK in there, let it install. Okay, now go to file management. Open up your Citra VR. You should have a folder for your games. If not, just go ahead and create a new folder, call it games, call it ROMs, call it whatever. Doesn't matter. Now, drop your .3ds file in there. Drop your game file in there. Okay, that's it. Now, back on your quest. If it's your first time running Citra VR, you may be asked to point it towards a Citra folder and a games folder. Just go ahead and point it to the game folder you created. In any case, we've done this ages ago, so you'll see the game just pop up there. That's it. Next step is just run the damn thing and play it. <laughs> That's it. Now, one thing of note. When you play this in flat screen, it's perfectly aligned. It is first person, it's great. For whatever reason, in Citra Vior, you're kind of stood behind where your character would be. I don't know why that is. It's That's not the case when you play the game on flat screen. So, room scale is your friend here. Okay, simply take a step back from where you intend to be playing. Recenter yourself, take a step forward, and you will now be in perfect alignment. Use Mario's hands to help you, to help guide you to where you should be stood. And that's it, you are ready to play. Now, if you want to check our, our settings, you absolutely can. Just bear in mind, these settings for are for a quest 2. If you're on quest 3, you may be able to bump up the graphical settings. So follow along to, on screen to what we have here. The VR settings are universal. You will need to have these set across the board, no matter what set set you're on. All right, that's it. You're now able to play Super Mario 3D Land in first person with 6DOF head tracking. Oh yeah, let's go. So I guess we're gonna leave it there you guys, uh, like, comment and subscribe if you've any thoughts, queries, any critiques, put them down below. If indeed there are any games you'd like to look at VRifying in the future, put those down below and we will presumably get back to you eventually. You can also follow us on TikTok for our adventures over there, which are basically condensed versions of what we do over here. And uh, yeah, follow us on all social medias, uh, all links will be in the descriptions. And yeah, looking forward to seeing you there also. Alright, you are fight games out.